Welcome back everyone, Toysius here, and I am back yet again to give you guys one heck of a video. We're checking out the entirety of the Space Jam action figure line by Moose Toys. Thank you to Moose for sending things over. We got single pack figures, we got Tasmanian Devils, we got LeBron rocket packs and hammers and snake people, two packs. <laughs> Blind bags. Oh, here we go. This giant LeBron James that has sounds. We did it. Whatever, right? You got goo jitsus, like little gooey things back here. We got like a launch and dunk playset, which is cool. Another playset. So yeah, it's a it's a lot of Space Jam tie-ins for the new movie coming out. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Space Jam toy line by Moose Toys. First up, we're gonna take a look at Game Time Playset. And this goes with these little blind bag things. There's 22 of them, if you wanna go that route. And these are compatible. They're like in a little basketball, right? So you don't know which one you're getting, but it works with this hit a three-pointer, shoot to score Game Time Playset. Comes with LeBron James and Bugs Bunny. Interesting, we'll see how this is gonna go. If you're looking for it, here's the barcode as well. All these toys should be hitting right around now. So when you see this video, you could probably go to the store and get most of them. This is cool. So it's like a basketball court. Here's the other little mini figures you have the potential of getting. So I'll open that one up. Space Jam, all that good stuff. Instruction manual in the box. So you do have a little bit of a setup. So kids ask your parents, yada, yada. They'll help you do it. Or I mean, it's kind of basic. You can probably do it. You put the figure on top of the base and you shoot basketballs. I remember making my own in school and having to do this. Now you got this whole really cool court set. It's kind of like a game board. It opens up, folds out. The blind bag figure I got was the Lola Bunny. She's got peg holes on the bottom and she fits like all the other characters on top of these little basketball launchers. The face, <laughs> I don't know about that. And they simply just peg on there and it's like a fun little totem character game piece to shoot basketballs with. Really nicely detailed. I feel like this is Space Jam from the trailer at least. And we'll use LeBron James. You get like a silver Space Jam basketball and he's ready to shoot some hoops. So let's test it out, see how this works. You could do it from anywhere on the game board too. Ah, come on. <laughs> let's try this again. Here we go. Oh! Yeah, that's, uh, that's actually pretty easy to do. You probably have to practice it a couple times, but uh, you can move him all around the game board. Same thing with Bugs Bunny. Just kind of have some fun. You could set up your own rules. It's like the arcade, you know what I mean? Let's try this again. <laughs> yeah, easy peasy. And you can adjust the hoop as well. It'll go up, it'll go down, but nice little toy right here. I'll give him that. Hey, it could also double as a little playset for the five inch figures as well. And as we open up more, I'll put more on this board to show you. But yeah, Kronos going up against LeBron. That actually is kind of cool looking. If you got a flight stand, you know, you can slam dunk it. Just like in the trailer, he's gonna hit some kind of energy wall or whatever that trailer's about. But anyways, yeah. Nicely done, and it sets up well with the five inch figures. Yeah, this is actually a really fun game. Set your own rules, move the pieces around, go forward, go back, adjust the hoop. Yeah, I think this is a pretty cool toy to have, especially in conjunction with a movie. And next up is the LeBron James Ultimate Toon Squad figure. It's roughly about 12 inches, giant, massive figure. Not even joking you, but a pretty well done, well painted, looks good in the packaging. All kinds of plastic and trimies and four interchangeable yada yada everywhere on this guy. Four accessories included, Acme Mallet, Acme Blocker, Basket Boom, and a basketball. <laughs> it's called a Basket Boom. All right, it was like a bob -omb to me, but try me. Play with it in the store, movies, phrases, and sounds. Backside of the packaging, it's game time, movies, phrases, sounds, Acme Mallets, all that good stuff. This, <laughs> I don't know if this is out yet. Marvin the Martian Ultimate Toon Squad. It's like a giant robot Marvin Martian. Hope that's in the movie. Oh, this makes me very angry. He comes with the batteries. Here's the barcode as well. So let's get this guy open. This is, this is gonna be interesting right here. <laughs> and here's LeBron all out of the packaging. And yeah, I mean, it's a really tall huge figure. Good for kids, I think. Throw around, have some fun with. Plus it's got 
lights and sounds, which I'll show you in just a second, and also a slew of various accessories, which are ridiculous. Let's talk about the figure first. Decent articulation. So it's basically the same type that you're going to see on these smaller five inch figures, but now with electronics and such, you push over and over again. Kids will have a blast with that. Backside, you got the battery pack, battery, speaker system, little holes on the back for his Toon Squad backpack, which is interesting. Nice articulation for bigger type figure, right? A lot more than most. Nothing at the waist, nothing at the legs, unfortunately. He is a lot of just molded plastic. There is some paint here and there, and what paint there is, it's actually done fairly nicely, and the head will rock to and fro. You can push this, and of course, yeah, you're gonna get some One, sounds two, out of three. him, which, hey, are good. After a while, though, you, you hear them all, and <laughs> I mean, they're from the movie, so that's cool. I'll give him that if you're a kid. Yeah, you'll just push it over and over and over, but this figure has so I mean, something that it's it's adds a little extra. It's not just the figure. He comes with his backpack right here, which we'll just assemble him. So these will peg into his back right there, and you have these little things on the side as well. And he does become a little bit top heavy. That you have these little claw things, it's like a Doctor Octopus thing going on, and those will simply just clip into the sides. So very Looney Tunes. You know what I mean? Like a Wiley e. Coyote type device that's uh, something you'd think he'd send away for to destroy the road runner <laughs> just grab this other one simply just fits they got some articulation in the arms so that's really nice that they did that then you have the basket boom right here it's got a peg hole on it simple black color not a lot to it he's got a peg on his hand to allow him to hold either the basket boom or the basketball so in that sense i think that that's a nice touch i like the element of basketball to this, at least it's not just all gags and such. The kids, if you want to play, if you're a basketball playing kid, yeah, I could see them really enjoying these. So yeah, just put the balls in the holders, grab this giant Looney Tunes mallet right here, and it fits into his hand very nicely. And yeah, God, I hope this is in the movie because this is priceless right here. <laughs> LeBron, it's like probably towards the end if they're losing, and then this basketball will win the situation maybe knocks a bunch of the uh the goon squad with the mallet as well but again a lot of molded plastic what paint there is does look nice he holds the basket boom he holds the mallet he's very sturdy once you get him in the right position he can be top heavy back heavy because of the backpack but if you want just normal lebron yeah you can have him or put him with the five inch figure as well you see in scale wise you see how big this this figure is he's a Good figure for kids to kind of mess with. You know, bigger figures tend to sell. And then, of course, put him with the larger McFarlane toy Spawn that just came out. Yeah, LeBron is other than Spawn. Put him with the Lenard Toys Predator. The one thing I will say, I do not feel that these toys are janky in any way. They are solid, and I think that you'll get a lot of play out of them if you're a kid. So in that sense, parents, if you're buying these, yada, yada, I don't think you're going to really have to worry about the cheapiness of them. They are good, solid toys. And next up, Gujitsu, right? <laughs> the really super stretchy toy line that Moose does. The, it stretches up three times its size as it boasts on the box, super squishy, yada, yada. This this is not my thing ever. LeBron James, Bugs Bunny, Tasmania Devil, LeBron in a power-up suit. This is what I call like a five-minute wonder kind of toy. You stretch them, ah, oh, it's so much fun, and then the kids end up burying it in the backyard or throwing it on the carpet. It gets lint all over it. Now, here is LeBron, and yeah, I mean, like I said, he's super squishy. You can stretch arms, strong him out. Usually the paint, everything else, really goes south within the first five minutes. He hasn't really done that yet. He's not really that sticky material, you know what I mean, that really comes off on your hands or anything else. So I could say that it's it's not bad. Yeah, you throw it on the carpet, it's it's probably gonna get lint and all that kind of stuff all over it. Not something I recommend. It's just, I don't think it's a thing for kids for more than five minutes. So this one, yeah, I, I'll pass. And next up is the Super Shoot and Dunk LeBron James box set launch dunk, do all that kind of stuff. A lot of LeBron James toys. Wish there was more Looney Tunes 
tie-ins to this stuff. We'll get to the action figures in just a second, but yeah, a lot of, you know, slam dunking, shooting the three. Again, I like the basketball element, don't get me wrong, but I wish that the other characters were included, right? Just because it's because it's Looney Tunes. It says there's stickers to apply. Ooh, we're looking forward to that, you know, me and stickers. So all that good stuff. I'm gonna open it up and show you what we're working with here. And of course, here's everything taken out of the box. You get a number of different items. You get basketballs, you get a launcher, you get a basketball hoop and a LeBron James. Applied the stickers myself. Jump on both sides. Lined them up pretty darn good if I do say so as myself. And yeah, this is what you do is you take this LeBron James character and he's got the giant hand, which you'll load the basketball in. And I mean, it's kind of funny. So it's more of like you angle him correctly and it's a it's a two player game with only one character though. So basically just put him on this, push him down, and basically you're just gonna push this button right here and you're gonna launch LeBron James, right? But hey, I thought he's supposed to shoot a basketball, you say. Well, yeah, we'll get to that in just a second. It comes with two orange basketballs. They each have a two and a three on them. So depending on where you kind of shoot from, you can shoot two pointers, three pointers, and it's magnetic. Check that out, right? Stays right in there and that will be integral for how this is really gonna work when you place him on the mat. The mat is kind of like a guidance sort of thing. You don't really need it, but it kind of helps you out to start out initially. I like the basketball hoop on this. I did put the Space Jam sticker right there. It didn't tell you where to put it, so I put it right there just to let you know we're in the Space Jam, baby. <laughs> and then you have the scorekeeper right here on the side. So again, it's like a two-player game. Unfortunately, though, I wish there was two characters, but there's weapon storage right here, or in this case, basketball storage. I like that. It stays in there pretty nicely. So nice, in fact. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to get out, but I'd rather have it be hard to get out than, you know, not be able to keep it in at all. And then you, so you line up your LeBron, you're gonna push this button and... It's the first try right there. Let's see if it was just beginner's luck. Cue that theme song. So there, yeah, it took me a couple tries <laughs> to really get it again. But yeah, the first one I made it and yeah, you'll figure out how to place it as such with the basketball hoop. It's just, it's an okay toy. I actually prefer the other one better because you get two characters. However, what is actually kind of cool is again, if you have the five inch figures, I just wish that it had a longer court. That'd be cool, maybe it's something you can make. But uh, yeah, you can have two different hoops to play with. Finally, we're to the action figure portion where there are single packs and there are double packs. They're bright, they're colorful, they've got a lot going on. First and foremost, we got Bugs Bunny with his Acme Blaster 3000, very much that Looney Tunes. And keep in mind, these are the four in the singles. There are four doubles as well. I just don't have the Lola Bunny and the Wet Fire character pack. But Marvin the Martian, man oh man, that's the one I was looking forward to. Very cool, always loved. Marvin and he comes with a spaceship, which is awesome. Then you have LeBron James again with Acme Rocket Pack 4000. So he's got a little Rocketeer action going on with a basketball. Then you have LeBron again with an Acme B-Ball blocker, which essentially is the same ball hammer that the 12 inch figure has, Tasmanian Devil and the Brow on court rivals. So you got a two pack with the goon squad bad guy right there, very feathered blue bad guy. And then you have the white Mamba and LeBron James rival pack as well. Bit of a snake woman right there. And here is everything taken out of the packaging. Again, Space Jam to have a sequel, to have the Looney Tunes matched up with basketball and everything. It's it's so wackadoo. But with Bugs Bunny, he comes with the Acme Rocket Blaster 3000. He does have some paint hiccups here and there, at least on mine. But he's nicely colored, nicely done, nicely rendered. He's got some articulation moves, arms just go up and down, and he just has waist swivel. So nothing at the legs and nothing else articulation wise. And then he has his Acme Blaster, which is done nice, pretty much solid plastic, nicely sculpted, and fires this like basketball missile sort of thing. Unfortunately, I thought it was going to be a spring loaded. It's one of those where you like kind of push it out kind of thing, but you can't get enough 
momentum going, so you might as well just flick it. And no kids are really going to do that, so it's a little difficult to use, but he does hold it well. So it's funny to see Bugs Bunny with a rocket pack. He also has a basketball holding hand, little peg in there, and that's actually a nice cohesive element across this entire line is that you can have each of the characters hold the basketballs, much like LeBron with his Acme Rocket Pack 4000. Go ahead and give the basketball to Bugs Bunny and he can hold it. Very cool to see. So I definitely dig that. And I think that for the most part, yeah, they fit together. One really cartoony. And then you have LeBron who is a little bit more cartoony. So in that world, hey, anything goes. Same exact LeBron figure I'm going to show you a dozen times coming up. But it comes with a cool Acme Rocket Pack. And much like Bugs Bunny's Blaster... You could shoot a missile out, but you kind of have to do that, unfortunately. And then you have LeBron James with the Acme B-Ball blocker. He's got the All-Star jersey on right there. And unfortunately on mine, the face is printed really off right there. But yeah, same exact body type, same exact everything, just different coloring, different. So it is just a reuse overall with every single one of the LeBron James figures. But I'm going to tell you this all day, Marvin Martian, he's the one to get. Comes with his own rocket spaceship it has like a basketball shooter i wish this was painted it's just all silver right there but that's a basketball on the top nothing really moves on it you can remove him from there and he's done well he's kind of got like the simpsons playmates feet going on but nice ball jointed head his arms will move up and down and he will swivel at the waist and he comes with his disintegrator ray and he holds it nicely so not only that you got the spaceship disintegrator ray and I think for the most part, they all match up really nicely scale-wise. So Bugs Bunny, Marvin Martian, and then LeBron so far. They all look great. Next up is the two-pack with the Tasmanian Devil and the Brow, which... <laughs> okay, the Brow, yeah. it's uh, He's like a feathered, uh, winged guy, which is actually kind of cool. His faces, really nicely rendered faces. They remind me of characters from Static Shock, you know what I mean? But it's really cool to do the bad guys. I think that's really cool to do rival packs. And the wings, they go out really nicely. He has pegs on the underside of the wings so that you can put the basketball. So again, all the characters for the most part, in some way, can hold the basketball. So I do love that they did that. And I think, I mean, I haven't seen the movie obviously, but I think these scale nicely or they scale appropriately. And then Tasmanian Devil, he can put the ball in his mouth, which is Typical Taz. Now, I did think that you could launch the ball because his mouth opens. And let's see if we can do it. Kind of just put it at the... Yeah, no. I, it, I thought it would shoot it, in it out or something like that. But no, the jaw just kind of goes up and down. So you can put it in his mouth. He has articulation in the arms and he will swivel at the waist. But again, that's a nice looking Tasmanian devil. Very on model, very much Taz. And of course the two pack with LeBron James and the White Mamba. Same exact LeBron. We don't need to talk about him. And with White Mamba, really nice sculpt. Again, very evocative of Static Shock. That's what I think about when I see these characters. But she's got these really long arms. She's got this really cool snake body. Really nicely painted. Scale wise, who knows? Toss up. But with LeBron and Cronus, you can check out my video purely on them. But it's when you have all the figures and you have everything that really looked at today, and that even though they're not meant to go together per se, you can actually construct a pretty cool basketball court. Now, I wish that the, the court actually extended. That would have been really cool. But maybe it's something you can do, construct yourself, because all the Looney Tunes characters, with all the Goon Squad, with LeBron James, makes for one really cool setup. Now, the articulation is minimalistic, but... Keep in mind, these are movie tie-in toys. At least they are on model and they look pretty darn good, especially Taz here. Love my Taz. So that's really going to wrap it up for everything Space Jam today. My God, how many figures, how many toys did we look at? But I hope you guys had fun doing so. And thank you again to Moose Toys for sending these all out to give you guys this fresh look. Overall, I think that... However the movie goes, good or bad, they did some really cool, interesting toys here. Not everything is great. Not everything is going to be my favorite. Not even is going to be your favorite. But these toys are solid. At least you're getting something for your buck if you choose to grab these toy tie-ins. The action figures are cool. That's what I'm going to recommend mainly. I do like the basketball shooter game. That's actually 
pretty cool as well. Giant LeBron James is nice to have, but I will say not everything is fantastic, but at least they're solid and well-made toys. So I'll give them that all day, but I am curious to know what you guys think. Will you be picking any of these toys up? What was your favorite? And what do you think about Space Jam 2, A New Legacy? Will you be seeing it? And how crazy was the first Space Jam? Go back and watch it. I'm just saying, I watched it before I did this video. It's, it's, uh, it's wackadoo. But I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember the soundtrack for the Space Jam movie. If you don't have that soundtrack, ah, what are you doing? You gotta get that soundtrack. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. That's all, folks.